morning, everyone. Our opening song will be Praise to the Lord the Almighty. Praise to the Lord the Almighty, the King of creation. O oh, my soul, praise him, for he is your health and salvation. Come all who hear, brothers and sisters, draw near. Join in profound adoration. Praise to the Lord who does prosper our work and defend us. Surely God's goodness and mercy here daily attend us. Ponder anew what the Almighty can do, who with divine love befriends us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Ronald Ryan, Angela Frontera, Teddy Barnaby, and Christina Arcaro. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those who are in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our minds and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Beloved, while the promise of entering God's rest is still open, let us take care that none of you should seem to have failed to reach it. For indeed, the good news came to us just as to them, but the message they heard did not benefit them because they were not united by faith with those who listened. For we who have believed enter that rest just as God has said. As in my anger I swore, they shall not enter into my rest. Though his works were finished at the foundation of the world, for in one place it speaks about the seventh day as follows, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again in this place it says, they shall not enter into my rest. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest, so that no one may fall through such disobedience as theirs. The word of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. The things that we have heard and known that our ancestors have told us, we will tell to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might. Do not forget the works of the Lord. The next generation shall rise up and tell them to their children so that they should set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. Do not forget the works of the Lord, so that they should not be like their ancestors, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast, whose spirit was not faithful to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So many gathered around that there was no longer room for them, not even in front of the door, and he was speaking the word to them. Then some people came, bringing to him a man who was paralyzed, carried by four of them. 
And when they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And after having dug through it, they let down the mat on which the paralytic lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the man who was paralyzed, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there questioning in their hearts, Why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? At once, Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves, and he said to them, Why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier, to say to the one who is paralyzed, your sins are forgiven, or to say, stand up and take your mat and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, stand up, take your mat, and go to your home. And the man stood up and immediately took the mat and went out before all of them, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Friends, this first week after Christmas, we continue to hear yet again today of the miracles of Jesus and the power that is found in Jesus, who is God, the second person of the Trinity. But you see how Jesus is not only healing the paralyzed man, but he's also bringing to an understanding the divinity of himself. Who can forgive sins but God? That's exactly the point. He is God. But of course, as usual, it's just for them. We don't want this to go over our heads either. In the letter to the Hebrews, it's very clear. The teaching of Jesus has been announced from generation after generation. But how many people do not recognize it? How many people question, how can this be true? How many people are like the first Thomas, the doubter? who failed to make that connection after an encounter with the risen Christ where Thomas goes to the end of the world, which in our case is India at that time. How many of us fail to bring people to Jesus like the friends who are willing to tear off the roof to bring their paralyzed friend to Jesus? We'll stop at nothing to make sure that the Lord is aware of this person's need. We are not only called to be disciples of faith, but we are called to bring others to Jesus, to flood heaven with prayer, not just for ourselves and our own little cocoons, families, worlds, but rather we are to flood heaven for the sake of all people, because they are my brother and they are my sister. And that redemption is at hand here. All things come through Jesus Christ. I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one can have salvation except through me. Jesus meant what he said. And so it is so vitally important, friends, that we recognize that this faith in the risen Christ is something that is integral for our lives, integral for salvation, and integral for all people to come to know, not just up here, but in here, that it is a true faith that a God who is very much alive is present in our midst, who cares deeply about us, and wants us to share that truth with others. So may we ask that these scriptures penetrate our hearts, not just our minds, so that we too can continue to be disciples of faith and that we continue to flood heaven for the needs of the people around us. Let us pray. Confident in the Lord's mercy, let us present to him our needs and petitions. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church. May her members continue to grow in holiness and strength. As we journey together to the Lord, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for elected leaders. May God lead them. And always serving with selfless wisdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for refugees fleeing violence or poverty. May the Lord look graciously upon them and provide them a place of welcome and respite, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those in our midst who are suffering great loss. May they be filled with God's consolation and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for all frontline and medical workers, that God may keep them safe, and for all who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, we remember especially Ronald, Angela, Teddy, and Nona. May they enjoy the eternal rest for which they strived in their life of faith, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts, Lord, you call us to be like the friends of the paralyzed man, bringing all people to your feet. Help us to be disciples of faith and to persevere in prayer so that we may do so each day of our lives. We ask this in all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created humanity, and when we were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Ronald and Angela, Teddy and Nona, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Under thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Friends, I thank many of you who've called into the office and inquired about Nona's funeral tomorrow. It will be held at St. Thomas More Church in the Falls, which of course is restricted to 10 people. So I have included the link to the Mass because many of you were asking about that. It's not going to be on this parish Facebook account. Father Bill will have all the Masses here in the parish tomorrow. So if you wish to um, 
participate in the funeral mass for Nona, please see the link on our parish Facebook page. Thank you. Praise to the Lord, O oh, let all that is in us adore him. All that has life and breath come now with praises before him. Let the Amen sound from God's people again. Gladly with praise we adore him. God bless you, everyone. Have a good day.